Hello my beautiful people! It is Sherry Moulton back with a, another video. I hope you had a wonderful week. Um, I'm hoping this goes up on Friday. I'm recording a bunch of videos because now between going back to work and having to go deal with my husband at the trailer, I have limited time to do things. So today we are going to do some coasters. Um, I had a few requests or questions asking if I had ever used a color pigment in with the white to make my flower blooms and I have tried not so much a color but I put in a shifting like a ghost pigment I think it was my blue one I will link that in the description box but I did use that and it you could see in the white that there is a little bit like of an opaly to it as opposed to just being stark white so that's kind of cool so today we are going to put an actual pigment color in um, I'm using all of Laura's art corners amazing products I have some glitter that I'm going to use from Laura I'm using the Lores angel white pigment paste from Laura and I'm also using, um, woo, oh boy, oh boy, that was a good catch. I'm using from Laura's Art Corner, this is a beautiful pigment. It is called, it's a mic powder, it is called Nighttime Blue. That is very pretty. So yeah, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to get my resin all warmed up and... Resin of choice. I'll go through all this right now and then when I come down, we'll just get right to business So my resin of choice is crystal resin. I hope you took advantage of last week's um, sale <clears throat> Yes, crystal resin. So when I am mixing I have on my Respirator I have always got gloves on the odd time I might take them off because I accidentally get them dirty but yes, please, please read your health and safety for all of your resins. 100% they do tell you to wear a respirator, a ventilated area. I have my Dyson air purifier on. So I'm good to go. So when I come back with my resin all mixed, we will be unmasked so I can talk to you. And that's by my choice. There's my little spiel. I'll see you guys in a minute when the resin is all mixed. Ooh, we are all mixed up. I got six of these molds. This mold is in my Amazon shops. Everybody is using these molds. These are the um, cake mold that you get off of Amazon. They're all together, but I've cut mine apart because I've torched a couple and I've ripped a couple. So I've got a whole tray full of these just loose like this. So I'm going to work a little quick here just because I've got quite a bit of resin mixed up and I goofed up my resin. I lost eight ounces of resin. I am so upset. So I mixed eight ounces. Each one of these are going to get one ounce. And I'm using these plastic cups just because I like measuring with these. I know what it works for these molds. So we're going to do one of these in each. Now, when you're doing these blooms, it's all about the timing. So we got one. And it doesn't have to completely come out. Like there's always a little residue left in your cup. As long as there is a thin layer of your um, resin in the bottom of the cup, you are good to go. Because this works some people wondered if it needed to be thick. It doesn't have to be thick. And I want to make sure I'm leaving enough because I'm doing two colors. So what I'm going to do is just mix this in half and half. I've got two little things here. So I'm going to try and do it the same amount in each. And we are going to Mix some with white from Lores, and it is going to have Laura's glitter or Laura's pigment. Sorry, I'm just gonna grab my 
guy and scrape all of this lovely gold out of here. Oh my God, I still can't believe that I, it was a whole cup. I was trying to empty a bunch of containers because I have, when I purchase this, I usually get the large jugs. There we go. Perfect. I usually get these size jugs. They're huge. And I have a bunch that are, have a little bit in the bottom of each, so I was trying to use them up. It didn't work. I just threw it all out. Okay. So, like I said, this is time sensitive. So every resin is a little different. And I just don't want to wipe my gloves off. Sorry, guys. So, um, usually about 25 minutes, 20 minutes. When your resin starts to get hot, you know it's time to start moving. So, organize here. So this is the clear. We are going to put Angel White from Laura's Art Corner. This is Lorez Angel White. And that's all I use is a white pigment paste. I'm using my sticks from my amazing Australian friend. Mari, please correct me. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I am so sorry. Give it a stir and scrape. And being that we're doing two, I'm going to mix this up first, just so we know there's a lot in there. Oh, this stick is amazing. Thank you. I'm excited. There, so that's good. So there's lots of nice color in there. And the only thing is, I'm going to put that in here. I never thought you should not be. Oh, I hope these, I'm going to use this stick because I know I can wash these. And I'm putting a little bit with this in here because I, um, I don't want to waste my stick lovely little things that my friend sent me. All right, let's get this all off. Mix this in. You don't want to contaminate. That's why I did not put this back into my container because you never know. There's things floating around and you don't want to contaminate your whole container, right? Okay, so I'm going to, I'm, what I'm going to do is scrape this out slip it underneath here for right now and make sure I get it all mixed. So there you go. So that's the, both of them are white. So now I'm excited because I'm going to use, this is from Laura's Art Corner as well. This is a pigment paint powder, mica powder. And this one is called Nighttime Blue. I'm going to open it, quickly show you and hopefully it doesn't splurt all over. And I'm going to use one of these lovely little spoons from my Australian friend. I'm so excited. And I'm going to use, I don't know how much to use in here. So uh, we're going to go that much. And I'm going to put it in and I'm not going to put this container. Let me just stir it up and see what comes of it. I don't know if you can see the difference. Can you see the difference? So I'm going to put a little bit more. A lot more, actually. And we'll see if... Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, let me set that one down. So I'm going to do three flowers with this con mixture. Oh yeah, there you go. So it's kind of like a baby blue. That's the only thing. When you add the colors, and I'm going to put it, since I'm mixing it, right into my bag. And with the pigment powders, you really want to make sure it's mixed. Okay, so I'm going to put all of that in here. 
Oh, look at that. It's pretty. It's got a shimmer to it because that um, mica powders, most mica powders have a shimmering quality to them. So like a pearlescent. So there we go. I'm going to set that down. I'm going to close this up because you watch my channel if you know sherry is a messy marvin oh let me get that on there straight there we go and actually i want to wipe this off since i did have that in the resin i want to make sure i can keep it don't want to ruin it my very first try all right so that's that. So I'm going to set that aside. Now I'm going to put, I have Signorita Magenta Signorita. It is from Pinata Alcohol Ink. And I'm going to put some in this. And I'm going to use the stir stick that I used for my mixing up my resin. I'm going to do two, three, four, five, six, seven drops and see what happens. Because I want a color. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a pretty pink. And I said again, that's, that's the only thing, you're not gonna get these big, vibrant colors because you're adding it to the white, right? I'm just gonna put my lid on my ink so I do not make a mess. And I am not putting anything in the center of my flowers. We're just going to go with it. I want to make sure this is mixed. I'm putting it inside my sandwich bag so I can pipe it out. Make sure you get all of that loveliness out. Oh, you are seeing me. Good. I wasn't sure if I was too far off the camera. There we go. Oh, today's a multitasking. I've got three videos on the go. So I'm like, what am I doing now? All right. So what I want to do, and I'm going to get rid of these um, bubbles. I'm going to use my heat gun. If I can get it on. Just make sure you don't hit the edges because that's the thing I find. Now I'm going to turn my heater on down here now that I'm not using that. So we can be warm for these guys. Perfect. Now we'll start with, this is the Laura's pig, uh, mica powder. I've got it in a baggie. Doesn't have to be expensive, dollar stores. I'm gonna cut this off because it gets in the way. And I'm gonna, oh, it's hard to cut and then, I can't stress enough, I think I say this in every one, make as small of a hole as you can in the bag because you can always come back and do a second layer on these flowers. So, I'm just doing, there, woo, perfect. I'm going to wipe it off and we're going to do three. Oh my goodness, it's just coming out. We're going to do three. Let's get this going. I got to wipe my finger off. Here we go, guys. We'll do three. Oh my goodness. Well, this. What is going on? What is with that? That is hilarious. It come out like water. And again, the hole is big. 
So, see how big the hole is? Can you see? You gotta live and learn, my friends. We have to live and learn. Mmm. You know what? Let's just... Let's see if we can try and get some form of... That's too big. This is what... And you know what? Every time I do something that goofs up, the flower ends up turning out nice. So it'll have jagged petals. Be careful that you don't get it too far over. Oh, that's funny. So, of course, the last one's going to work. That is very funny. Well, as in nature, not everything is the same. That is too funny. And with these, I only put an ounce because I always come back and do a second layer with res with uh, glitter. I'm just getting my reindeer and I'm going to squirt this because the hole is so big. I'm just going to put this in here. Waste not, want not, guys. Or if you got little bits of jewelry, like if you do some jewelry, you can use that. All right. Let's see what the pink will do. And it's really not that warm. So it's, you know what? I think that flower is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to cut the end off like I did the other one. And we're going to try and get even smaller hole. My eyes are so bad. There, that's what I wanted. Oh my goodness, now it's coming out. Every oh. All right. I think this is going to be the same. Well, at least we'll have f probably four that are kind of like that weird looking leaf, which is kind of cool. Here we go, guys. So we'll see if the alcohol ink makes a difference. Because it looks like the pigment powder is working. And this is working. So you can add colors. And I like to go as close to the edge as you can. Because as you see, it sinks in a little bit. And with these, you can do a layer of, to make them cohesive as one set. Wow, why is that? Um, you can do one set and you can just put a clear layer of, um, not clear, silver glitter. So it's, they're both, so they're all the same. So you get six. I'll try to get. It's close to the edge, and now I'm getting it rippled. -y. Oh my goodness, Sherry. Here we go. Last one. So it was so much fun going back to work. It was quite humorous because I've been there for, we're going on 23 years almost, and um, it was kind of neat to see people's reactions because you're gloved and gowned and masked and you got goggles on so you're talking to these people and then they don't really realize it's you and I do have unique hair and then they look up at me and go what are you doing here so it was kind of cute so it was kind of fun to come back and you make some good friendships at work sometimes and it's nice to see everybody again 
All right, putting this guy in here. And then we're going to let, oops. And then we're going to let this sit. And you can do this and do your second layer. Um, I'm just wiping off the edge because I made a mess. You can use your second layer with easily four hours, I would say, as long as it's kind of tacky. It doesn't have to be fully cured or more or less as long as it doesn't mix together because that's the only reason why you would wait, right? So with that, I'm going to let these sit for probably three or four hours. I'll come back and we will put our second coat like that's going to be kind of neat. That actually might need a neat the little one might be a neat looking flower. So, all right. I'll see you in a couple hours, my beautiful people. Bye-bye. Hello, we are back. These turned out amazing. Each one looks so different. They're still pliable, but they're good to put a second coat on. Look at how this one turned out. I'm excited to see them in the front. Like each one is so different. Is that not cool? And then the pink ones, the curing time is different. So I think that's why this one's this way because it was the last one I did. And then this one, see the difference? This one's all closed up. And this one, there's little gaps in between. Very, very cool. So I wanted something that was neutral and that would go with both. So I've mixed up eight ounces of my crystal resin again. And I was gonna use the Wedding Bliss, but I opted, because I have a couple of new things from Laura's Art Corner that I have not used. I was gonna use my silver mica powder, but I decided against that. And we are going to use from La Res, this one is sterling silver. So that is what I'm gonna color the backs of all of them. And then that way it will be cohesive. And I have a feeling I might need to heat this up. Look at that. My basement is cold. So let me, okay, give me, all oh, my resin is already cured. Oh my goodness, okay. Wow, I hope. Okay, so that won't work for that. So what I'm gonna use then is, that's like solid as rock. I'm gonna have to warm it up. It'll be fine, I just have to warm it up. And I have something in my resin. A little bit of something. Okay, so this is pigmente. It is aluminum. It is like, I don't know why this is not, oh, I'm having issues. I'm gonna reset my whole camera. Look at that. Back to factory set. And then that way it'll be exactly where I want it because I have not um, done any, I've done a couple of flipping around with it. I've hit buttons on it and not knowing what I've done. <laughs> so, all right, so I've got my resin. I'm going to mix it off to the side. I'm gonna use one. I'm gonna use that much. You can see. I've got eight ounces in there, so I wanna make sure that it's enough. Oh my goodness, look at that guys. It looks just like the gold. It looks like melted gold and silver. Oh, that is gorgeous. I just wanna make sure. I'm mixing in my container. I don't like to mix colors in, but we're going with it. Mix, mix, mix. And you want to make sure you mix thoroughly. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at that. That is gorgeous, Laura. That is freaking amazing. 
Now, I'm not going to, I'm going to put the lid on that because sherry can be a klutz. And I'm going to take that and put that upstairs so I can warm that up for next time. Now, I'm thinking, I'm still going to put, I'm going to put some of um, the ballroom blitz is what we're going to put in there. So I want a little bit of glitter. So this is the ballroom blitz. It's gorgeous. And we're going to put a big heaping spoon and we'll see where it goes from there. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Maybe I will do one more because that's eight ounces. That is gorgeous, Laura. This is beautiful. I did a half a scoop. So I did one full scoop and a half of ballroom blitz. Look at that. It's beautiful. Can you see that? I hope it's focusing. That's gorgeous. Okay. Now, because I like to do things. Uh, we're going to pour one cup in each and see where we go from there. Oh my my. Stunning. And I would stir in between just so that you have the glitter disperse. Come on. Another stir. Wow. And that's going to be so beautiful. It's going to, here, let me do another stir. I didn't stir in between that one. Let's see. Do we got one more left? We're just going to divide it into these guys. We'll divide it up in all of them. Whoop. Now let me scrape it out of here. So we want all that luscious loveliness out of there. This guy didn't get much, so we'll put that in there. And the rest in this one. Oh my my. Ugh, oh, stunning. I'm going to use the heat gun just because I want to warm this up because my resin was a little cold. So just give me a sec, guys, and we'll get the bubbles gone.
there we go. Oh my. That's gorgeous. So we're gonna let that dry. Uh, from here, all I can see is that glitter and that is just, you're getting like a purple holographic when you step back, gorgeous. So I'm gonna let this set overnight and we will come back in the morning and unveil this. I'm very excited to see what they look like. I'll see you guys when they're ready. Bye. Hello, we are back. We're gonna do the reveal. I'm excited because for me, this has been, I think three days because I was at my trailer. <laughs> so I'm excited to see. Oh, the back is amazing. That silver pigment is gorgeous. If you can see that. And that glitter in there, it's amazing. All right, here we go. I'm not sure if this is the pink or the blue. One, two, three, the blue. Oh, that's amazing. And now I know I didn't put nothing in the middle, but you could put something there and then do a clear coat on top. But actually, I like how that turned out. That's pretty. And look at that ballroom blitz in between. Laura's got so many amazing, beautiful glitters. It's just crazy. All right. And let's see, are they gonna all be different? Again, that's amazing silver. Here we go. Two, three. Oh, look, again, different. I did the same thing. That is just so cool how it looks. I like, everything is different. But that's like nature, right? Nothing is perfect. No two flowers are alike. Here we go. And again, completely different. Completely different. I'm going to bring it up. Sorry, I took that away too fast. But look at how each one was done the same way. And each one turned out different. Amazing. So these must be the pink ones. Here we go. Here, I'll pull them all out. Oh, it's bright. That's the color that come out. I like these molds. These are the cheapest molds and you get such a nice coaster out of them. Okay. Which one? This one. Here we go. And again, that silver is good. That ballroom blitz has that amazing holographic stuff in there. All right, here we go. And there's the pink. Wow. You can hardly tell the blue is in there. I use the ink. So maybe you need to use ink. But that's blue in there. So that that is very pink. That is kind of cool. Now let's see if the pink ones are all different. Here we go. Now I did these last. So like I said, it's all a timed thing with this method. First, I think, second, third, this one. Well, let me see what this one looks like, but the, the very last one, it wasn't all meld, like it didn't close up like this one did. Here we go, let's look at them. Two and three, yep. So that's pretty, it just needs something in the middle. And that's the last one I did. So you could tell on time wise, cause I went this way when I was doing them. It's just very cool. I just think it turned out, they turned out neat. Now, would be cool with that bumblebee because the bumblebee was a sticker. I don't see it here offhand, but with the sticker, now you could stick it in here. 
and then do a clear coat on top. So, yeah, I think they turned out cool. Now, the colors, um, I did try the um, ghost pigment that I had, which is more or less like a chameleon. And I have some from Laura's Art Corner, and I'm going to try it. Maybe I'll do one of these. I'm just, I'm patting it down. I just want to show you. I'm going to open it up. This is the chameleon pigment. This one is the violet, indigo, and blue. So maybe I'll do another one and put the pigment in and do the back. Instead of that silver, I could do like that deep purple or the, um, there's the two. I can't remember the other color at the moment, but yeah, either the purple or that galaxy blue. Galaxy purple, galaxy blue. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm impressed with the results. Like this is definitely, oh, where's the other one? So this is definitely a color. Like you can see the difference, right? You can see there's that, it's blue, gray. It looks gray because I think the gray behind it. But there is a color in there. It's very 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 pa pastel but that is a color so so anyways i hope you enjoyed the video um if you did like it please give it a thumbs up if you have not yet subscribed please 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 and leave a comment if you like um hit that bell for notifications for when i put up my next video and in my links, uh, my description box, I have the links to my Amazon shops. I have the links to um, the wonderful, the amazing Laura's Art Corner. Please, please use the coupon. It's all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10%. And you get 10% off of your complete order. Um, also, there is the link to Crystal Resin. Um, try that casting resin. I'm going to give that a go this week. And also there's the link to um, Try Art Liquid Glass and the link to my PayPal, um, pay, <laughs> pay, pay, PayPal page. Oh my goodness. So with that being said, um, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.